So people have been asking me such great questions that I'm gonna be making another video to answer them. So the first one is, do you receive a monthly allowance for minor incidentals? And what does the community supply you? And do you have a set number of clothing articles? Okay, so nobody here gets a paycheck, um, stipend or allowance and the community supplies everything you need. So like food, clothing, houses, healthcare, and everything. So there's not really a need for a paycheck. If you're gonna go off the grounds of the community for any reason though, like a meeting with friends, an appointment on the weekend, you can ask the person who takes care of the finances for cash, for food, and other incidentals. There's no set number of clothing items. I just ask for what I need when I need it. And, but since everything I have is pretty much the same look, there isn't really a need for a big wardrobe and no one will tell the difference anyways. <laughs> I think it's really funny. Would you consider yourself a minimalist? Well, I hadn't really thought about it that way, but I guess in a way I am if you mean that I try to live my life based on something other than the acquisition of more material things. I mean, if you don't have money, it's kind of hard to get a lot of stuff. Okay, the next question is, Hi Laura, I'd love to know why girls on the Bruderhof don't wear white wedding dresses. I guess this question is because a couple years ago, um, I posted a video montage of Chris and my wedding and people were shocked that we wore such ordinary looking clothes. Um, I was actually kind of surprised how much it bothered people because I don't think we're the only people who have a simple wedding where you don't spend insane amounts of money. Some girls on the Bruderhof actually do wear white, um, same style of dress that we normally wear though, because they find some meaning in it. I can understand that, but I guess I just, you know, didn't wear white. <laughs> I actually kind of think it's a little bit cliche, but shh, don't tell. <laughs> So the last question for today is, are you aware of any people who have had to give up a good amount of wealth to join the Bruderhof? Yes, quite a few actually. People have left thriving businesses or professional practices because they felt compelled to take Jesus's words about selling everything and following him at face value. So yes. And I would love more questions from you. So please just write them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe.